Hello everyone, Rebecca here. Welcome back to the channel. And again, um, just continuing on with some shorter Python tutorials that will each stand on their own in their own topic. And so I've already opened up Idle and also a new file for a script file. And today we're going to look at um, how to interact with a user, how your little Python program can, can wait for input from a user and then uh, repeat something back. So two concepts today, um, input from a user um, and also concatenation of just being able to shove two uh, strings together. So being able to take text and put it together and then print it back out. So to do this, we need some sort of variable that will wait for the input from the user. And so I'm just going to set up F name for first name and we're going to go in and now with Python 3.6 and greater we have an input function and so again a function will also always have parentheses with um, whatever we're going to feed into the function and in this case it's going to be a simple statement that will display to the user and so we're going to ask them to enter your name and we can put a colon and a space in here if we'd like to make it look nice and then we just hit enter and then whenever the program runs it will sit there and wait until they type something and then so whenever they type something then that information will be stored in our variable called fname and so we're going to go ahead and just print something back and so for this instance we'll just come back and say good morning and then here is concatenation being able to put two strings together and it's super easy in Python we just use a plus sign and so we're going to take this string literal and then put it with whatever name they have just typed in now if we put F name in quotes it will actually print the word F name we don't want that we want whatever whatever is in the, the bucket um, variable and so we'll just put F name just like this and this should work so we're gonna go in and save our test file here so uh, let's see save as we'll stick it in our folder and I'm going to call this one interactive save that and then we'll go up and try to run it and of course you can do F5 I'm just going to use the menu system all right and so as we run our script files since we're in idle it throws us over into this interactive idle window and now the program is going to just sit there and wait and wait and wait it'll wait forever until we type in something and so of course you can come in here and type in whatever you'd like and uh, once they hit enter then it comes back with our greeting um, so super simple and again if we were to run it again we can enter in a different name All right and then I am just kind of interested in well, what if their name is a good southern name and they have two names to it so for instance uh, oh I don't know how about Norma Norma Ray I don't know. I don't know how you'd spell it. But anyway, so Norma Ray, and yes, so you notice it handled the uh, space for us just fine. So anything that they would type, again, if it was all just gibberish, and it's going to allow them to type a certain amount until they hit enter, and it repeated every bit of that <laughs> back to us. Um, how about if we were to enter um, integers and it did handle that appropriately as well so that's that's interesting so it's uh, it's very forgiving um, one more time we'll just put in some decimal numbers yes and again no problem all right so there you go so now with Python we have the super easy input function and then concatenation is just done with a plus sign thanks for watching